I, I, I don't think history really destroys those teams. They, I, they don't. Let's go to um, Joe in Staten Island. Joe. Hello there, Michael. How are you? Good. How are you, Joe? Let me ask you a Gotta question. Got to turn down your radio, Joe. What? Got to turn down your radio. Okay, okay Michael. I'm, I'm very sorry, okay? That's all right. All right. We, we'll, we'll wait for you. We, we have faith in you. All right. Here, I, I turned it all the way down. Perfect. Well, I, I, you're, you're a nice guy, but why do you consistently stick up for the ball players? I haven't. I, Mike, I said that they have Mike, not taken Mike, you, you got guys like Trout making $25 million. You're you got no, $36 Kershaw. million. What? $36 million, Joe. Uh, uh, Trout? Yeah. Well, then, uh, what's Kershaw making? Kershaw makes about 32 I think. Trout and Cole are the highest paid players. Let me tell you something. These guys should, should donate the rest of their salary to this COVID disease right now. It's not going to be no, no kind of a season. It's 48 guys. And you want me to tell you something? I don't even think these guys are that, that, that good of ball players. Wow. If you want to know the truth, I think they're overrated. You got wild card one, wild card two. That's a joke as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, anyway, bring back the old days. Dodgers in 56 for the series, Yankees in 56 for the series. That's when baseball was baseball, and that's when men were men. Joe, what should a, everybody who has a job donate their entire salary and, and, and to the, the way, COVID-19 situation? By, by the way, I got to ask you a question. Why do you have this guy Rosenberg on the show? He says nothing all, the, all, all through the show. Well, what does he do? Then why, is it, thinks, then why does it bother you? If he didn't speak, then how can somebody bother you? Uh, uh, a man that thinks professional wrestling is on the level has to see a psychiatrist, okay? I, I was he just clapping for that. your points. I thought you made a lot of salient points. I was clapping for you, and then you attacked. Hey, me. you're just mean. You're just a mean person. I'm you know, not a mean when person. Men were men was a mean time, okay? What? Now it's a new time. Do you, let me ask you this. Do you think it's fair that Major League Baseball should play under the same rules with 30 teams when they had 16 teams? Don't you understand, don't you understand that there are too many teams in baseball? Uh, whoever heard of Wild Card 1 and Wild well, Card 2? Whoever heard of NLCS and ALCS? I mean, the times change, man. <laughs> the earth is circular, yeah, but you man. Know it's spinning. It's you spinning right you at you because it's a revolution. It's not you a want revolution. me to tell you something? Place to place. Sometimes Sometimes things don't change for the better. What hasn't you know what? changed times for the change, better, Joe? Baby. Times, they are a-changing. you got to get with the times, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're, only saying that. you're only saying that because you got a show. And, no, and what the hell is that ratings. Because if I didn't have a show, I'd be talking to myself or my wife, and she wouldn't care. I've got a show. I've got opinions. You for, can't live in 1956. Understand, understand something. First of all, just think of it. For 48 game baseball season, 48 games. Okay, you are entitled you got to that wild opinion. Wild card one, wild I, card two. Why don't I you make it? I understand. You made your point three, about that, but what I'm saying four. is, I, you can have a problem with a 48 game schedule. I'm cool with you having a problem with that, but stop when the men were men in 55 and 56. Stop That's with that already. You, you know it's you, not. You know not in sports. You, you know, know why you disagree good, with in the good that? old days, Joe. You weren't around at that time. But Joe, well, in the good old was days, at that time. in the good old days, they, the sport wasn't integrated. Was that good? What? In the good old days, you, as you said, let's say 1946, the sport wasn't integrated. Was that good? 56, it wasn't integrated. No, I said 46. Well, there I were, there were no African Americans in baseball. Was it a better product? 46, I was one year old. Okay. You're missing the point. The point is All growth right. is good. That's the point. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying if we say if we you got wild card one. But, wild here, but, but, but stop with the wild Joe, card one. Joe, Joe, Joe. They actually going to have five wild cards. So you're, you're way I behind. It's eight you. teams you know in each league. For, There's going to be wild card one, you want me to tell two, you what this is good three, for? four, five. Good for, it's Who's good it, for good gamblers for? and people that want to gamble. That's what it's good for. This is not Major League Baseball. So if are you a Yankee uh, fan, Joe? I've been a Yankee fan since 1958, kid. Okay. 
So that, then you were 13 years old. So why were you talking about 55 and 56? You weren't even a fan then. Well, wait, wait. Yes, I was. Well, if they play... I was a Brooklyn Dodger fan then. Okay, if they oh. play... Wait a second. <laughs> if they play the 48-game season, Switch Joe, <laughs> are you not going to watch? <laughs> that would never happen then. I got to know why. That would never happen then. I got to know why you switch. How, why'd you switch from the Dodgers to the Yankees? Why? You want me to tell you? Yeah, yeah. I, I desperately need to know. Yeah, all right, fine. I switched because Walter O'Malley was a money-hungry, grummy piece of garbage, and he was offered a land in Flushing to bring the Dodgers over to Flushing when Abe Stark wanted him to bring it over there. And that's something you don't know. No, you I know. Were born at that time. I know, but you know what? I, I know about the Civil War. You've heard of that. I've heard but, of that. But, I, but, Joe, you would want them to be called the Queens Dodgers? Walter O'Malley wanted the, the area yeah. where they built the Barclay Center. Walter Robert O'Malley Moses was a money-hungry guy. No, 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 no. Robert, Robert Moses, Moses was the bad guy. Robert Moses is the villain in this. Oh, Robert, Robert Moses. Moses is the bad guy in this. Yes. I want me to tell you something. All yeah, you got to do is remember what he did to Carl Ferrello. Carl Ferrello beat him in court for $50,000, and he blacklisted Carl Ferrello. Why did he blacklist Carl Ferrello? Because he beat him in court for $50,000. Learn something about the history. Oh, you stop it. Hold on, hold on. I want to ask Stop something. it. I have a question for Joe. Who's I, Robert I, Moses? What? Who's Robert <laughs> Moses? I, 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 I don't know. Well, then learn something about the city of New York. You should know your you know, history because he's Moses. the reason why they moved to Los Angeles because they would have been in Queens in a dome, in a dome stadium with an AstroTurf because men play on AstroTurf in a dome stadium in Queens. What do you know about 56? I Joe, got books, acting, baby. Like we don't know how to read books, Come Joe. On. I mean, we're we're well, telling you, know, Joe. I got a question. I know Joe. everything about you fifty-six. Don't know nothing about fifty-six. Why could you? Do I know anything about the Civil War? Did I live then? I read. I know everything about yeah. it. You don't have to live it to know it. Also, I mean, Joe. Is it your name really, Joe? Joe. <laughs> Hey, hey, first of all, is this your real name, Joe? You Joe, are you using a pseudonym? Is no. this your real name? Let, let, let me let me tell you something. Okay. First of all. How old are you? 56? Me, 59. I'm going to be 75. So I saw the That's Dodgers it? in Brooklyn. I saw the height of their career. Talk about a subject you know, you know about. But Joe, listen, oh we're, we're giving you a lot of airtime here, but that's quite insulting. You're telling me, because I wasn't alive in 56, no, no, no. I don't know all, exactly what first happened. First of all, I want you to know this right now. I happen to like you. Well, good for you. Thank I you. happen to like you. I met you once. You don't remember, but well, I'll no. refresh your memory. Okay. I met you outside Yankee Stadium about 15 years ago. I had a big discussion with you. But let me tell you something. The show you're doing right now is slated for two men. The chubby guy and you. The other guy with the beard you don't need. The chubby guy? Wow, Wait, which Don. one's the chubby guy? That's you, Don. Don's a little chubby. Okay, a little chubby. That doesn't mean nothing. I'm chubby, too. Well, right. I, 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 the point I'm bringing out is that's a three-man show. That's not a three-man show. Right. That's a two-man show. Joe, you love this show. No, I happen to like I happen to like Don, and I happen to like you. The other guy, yeah, he, he, when when a guy looks at professional wrestling like he, it's on the level, he doesn't. Go see, oh, what was it's not on, on, the, on the level? What do you mean on the level? I enjoy it for two different things. Do you do you like uh, television shows the same way you like baseball? They're different. And I got news for you. Do me a favor, okay. Michael. Yeah. Never, I know you like Bruce uh, 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 Springsteen, right? Love him. Love him. Guess what, kid? There's only one entertainer as far as singers you can there mention. You Let me guess. And it's Frank Sinatra. Francis Albert Sinatra. That's the man, kid, okay? They're, but they're not even the same genre at right. all. They're just well, from the same Peter, state. He, bring, Peter, Remember, he brings up some Prince. salient points. He brings up some salient points. That's a good Let's point. Nancy go. turned 80 yesterday. Nancy Sinatra. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. Did you also? I wanted to know to Joe, Joe from Staten you Island, right? Yeah. He, that's how Steve Sharip is going to sound in 30 years. <laughs> you, you know what? You're not wrong. Wow. I don't know anything about 56. How, but you don't know anything about 56, five, but he does not know Robert Moses?
What? Robert Moses is as important to the Dodgers moving out of Brooklyn as uh, Walter O'Malley was. Walter O'Malley wanted to build a retractable dome on the corner of, of uh, what's the corner that the Barclays Center is on? Flatbush and... and uh, was it Atlantic? Atlantic. Atlantic, yeah. yeah. That's exactly where he wanted to build it, and Robert Moses said no. He wanted to give him the, the area where they built Shea Stadium, and he said, I don't want to move to Queens. I want the Dodgers in Brooklyn. This is where I want it to be. Moses said no. Moses was the god of New York. The reason there's a cross Bronx Expressway that you curse your day through is yeah. because of Robert <laughs> Moses. Right. Read the books. Joe, read the books. I wasn't alive then, but I knew. Because you know why? They, 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 you, you find this information. No, RJ, I can't, how do you feel about being called chubby? I think you look uh, tremendous. You know what? From, but who, who, who I got it from, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm skinny as a rail. Have you turned your man cave into your home office, Joe? Yes. Well, here's your chance to upgrade your work at home experience with an Amazon Echo. We'll give you three chances a day through Thursday when a smart speaker for your home office. To enter, email a photo of your work from home setup to 98.7 FM at ESPN.com with the subject line Echo. Includes your name and phone number. Again, that's 98.7 FM at ESPN.com. It's all from the smartest station in the game, 98.7 ESPN. To listen on your smart speakers, just say play 98.7 ESPN. Um, let's towel off after that. A lot I don't of want to. to I still want to drip with it. I want, no. I want it on me. No, I'm going to shower, too. 1-800-919-3776. Caitlin Craig <laughs> and that guy Rosenberg right here on Yes in 9870 ESPN. <laughs> the show you're doing.